up guys welcome back to another video it's your girl ruby and for today's video this is actually going to be a very different video compared to whatever videos i've ever done if you can see the title and thumbnail i am actually going to be quitting the community like i promised i was going to make a video explaining why and how and everything that you guys want to know if you guys do get bored this video will be split into three sections of explaining my three certain points of this video but before I begin, like, subscribe, and comment to support me. You can even donate super thanks to my channel. This will honestly be so helpful for me. So if you guys do want to donate super thanks, that is fine. But a subscribe is also going to be helpful enough for me. So without further ado, let's begin this video. So first, we're going to talk about the history of Gacha. For me, I started Gacha about probably three mm -hmm. or two years ago. And honestly, I think... My channel has has evolved a lot around Gacha. Even like that one time where I got 1k subs, that was definitely because one of my um, Gacha videos went viral, which I am very grateful for and I cannot be thankful enough to reach this bar because of the because of the Gacha community. But what I must admit is that I had my moments of where I was mm -hmm. I want to really say that I would probably say that I wasn't really a good person back then i don't know but for me my contents and all that stuff weren't really mm, you know they weren't really exciting and all that kind of stuff so to break it down i was saying that i do that i used to do actually i used to do piggy and now i moved on to demon slayer for my content which is honestly a massive change that i did when i first did piggy uh my content was not really that good and my knowledge of piggy was also not I, I don't know i don't think there's any knowledge about piggy to know but at, at the end of the day it was not really my best era it was not my best moments um during that time i think i made like a few enemies because of it because because at the end of the day my content i i was young i was not really that wise back then so my content was not really up to the best mark so that's when I moved on from Piggy to Demon Slayer because at the end of the day I developed a love for anime because of Demon Slayer. So I just thought to myself, hmm, okay, why don't I just switch from Piggy to Demon Slayer? Because if I like something, I'm gonna put it into my content. And thankfully enough, there was a community of Demon Slayer in Gacha. So like it's like my own little circle that I got to join, and it's like a really good circle because I feel well. I f I feel what the hell is that even a word? I felt welcome, I felt very safe, I felt very happy, I felt like genuinely happy that now I have my own people to hang out with. And because I also made like a few friends, it also made me feel a lot more better. So, and I think my editing also got a little better, but at the end of the day I was not happy, despite having all of that I was not happy because I felt like something was missing. So I'm gonna now break down into why I'm quitting the gacha community. So to quit the gacha community, it's not a big, it's not easy move for me. I don't know about you guys because I've seen like a lot of comments, a lot of you are not happy, so I'm not happy either. This is not easy for me as much as, it, as, much as it isn't easy for you guys because I know that there is there'll be that one gacha tuber who has literally done something wrong and like it'll not be forgiven or that one gacha tuber who wants to quit but it's not easy for the for the subscribers because they've gained a lot of subscribers for a lot of hard work so i think i'm aware that the gacha community is dying i don't i don't think it's like dying dying like it's just decreasing slowly by slowly so i don't really blame anyone at the end of the day change happens for a reason and I feel like it's a good reason mine is a good reason because I never posted often I could never find the good ideas and I could not find the motivation I would always just stare at my screen like oh, the same thing again and again and again just like drawing and drawing and drawing that is not what I want to do and that is not what I want to wake up to with that same depressing motivation to make something that I actually never wanted to do and that I never wanted to make in the first place but what I have noticed is that I did have a lot of fun creating reaction videos like I've done these three videos and they blew up very nicely for some reason but 
I don't plan to stop making those. So to clear up any misunderstanding, I am not gonna stop making Hashira reaction videos. I will continue making Demon Slayer reaction videos for you guys if that will guy if that will make you guys happy and it'll make me happy. I don't mind making it because at the end of the day, there is no editing needed. But if you want to make it in simple words, I'm gonna be there, but just not be there. I'm not gonna keep posting gacha like I used to, like a daily routine, because I want to get out of that routine. I really want to make myself disciplined. I want to start working hard, and I want to start, like, experiencing new things on my channel for you guys to have a different experience as because well, I feel like that's what I want to achieve in my life. Now, for the people being tagged, these people, these beautiful people that are being tagged on my channel, these people are actually my favorite people that I've that I have um, made friends with. Don't get me wrong, you guys are my favorites too. My subscribers, my beautiful people, my my children. See, even Tangan agrees, right? This guy is gonna be here with me in my entire YouTube in this entire YouTube journey. I bro I broke his sword, by the way, just to let you guys know. I li I literally I broke I broke his sword, so this part is suddenly sticking out. But it makes him so old. But he'll be sticking around for the entire journey. You guys will not be seeing one video where he's not gonna be there he'll either be in the background or he's either just gonna be sitting by my side on my desk where he's supposed to be so for the people that i tagged those people are actually really kind really supportive they they even were back then back then like when there was a lot of crazy things happening they were there like they were genuinely there like very supportive very kind very how do i say this strong-minded very strong-minded there was a lot of depressing drama going on as well even then they were still there like honestly i'm very surprised that this lasted so long but i wouldn't give that up for anything i would i'm very grateful to this day for having them in my life and for them still being here to this day even though it's been so long we haven't reconnected like we haven't bought the whole family together it's like my second little family my own little but like my little bundle like very this this small it's like a very small bundle it's a very small bundle in a package. Those are the people that I'm honestly gonna be very grateful for. I'm still gonna keep them in mind and I feel like they would understand why I'm taking this big move because they were the first people who got to see me grow, who were there to see me grow and he, who are still there to see me grow at this, at this point. So that is honestly very insane, very crazy. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for now. But if you guys do have any questions, please let me know. Also, please don't feel sad about this big move because I'm still going to be the same person. It's just that the content will be different, the channel will be different, my approach is going to be different. But I hope you guys understand and I hope you guys stick with me till the end of my journey. So if you guys enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe. But if you do have any questions, do not hesitate to ask me. I'm going to answer all of the comments and all of that stuff. And once again, you can donate super thanks to my channel if you want to. That'd be really helpful. And if you want to like, comment, subscribe, do whatever, share, screen record. <laughs> don't, watch, don't screen record me. That'd be very bad. I don't want to be in someone's photos unless like, you know. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I have to say about the gacha community. I am very grateful to have been in that community. I will appreciate it for the rest of my life. And I'm always going to look back. I'm never going to forget where I came from, how this all started, the history of how it started. So, yeah, I'm pretty much going to take my memories with me at the end of the day. <laughs> so, yeah, that's all I have to say. So, yeah, bye, guys.